Oh, what? What? What is your problem? What's the matter, bro? Why you so mad? We get some mad, bro. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Ready? Ready? Greetings and salutations and welcome to Toka Bite Size, where I am super excited for the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And because of that, I started thinking about the Genesis. And then I remembered I had this. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. This is a collection of like 50 or so... 40 classic titles from the Genesis. That's, it's in the title, Gen Genesis. I don't know why, it's Sonic's Genesis collection. I mean, he doesn't own them all. And I thought to myself, hey, why don't I just review all of these games? You know most of those games are gonna suck balls, right? Yes! Do you hate yourself? Yes, I do. Alex Kidd was a game for the Sega Master System and a launch title for the Sega Genesis. And Sega wanted it to be such a big hit that Alex would become the face of Sega. And obviously it worked because a new Alex Kidd game just came out. You know, Alex Mania. Oh boy, I'm excited. Oh looky here, we got story. Hi, I'm Alex, kid. I live on the planet Ares. My brother, Egul, is king, and frankly, my life was uneventful. Dude, you're a prince of an entire planet. Stop being such an ungrateful little turd. But then, I heard a rumor. My lost father, King Thor, was alive on the planet Paper Rock. Why is it called Paper Rock? Because everyone there is an expert at the game called Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh, okay. I guess. If a visitor is no good at that game, he won't last long. My family didn't want me to go, but I have to find out. Is my father still alive? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark. All right, now let's go into some gameplay. Right off the bat, the controls are way too floaty, making simple platforming a chore. But the game makes up for it by giving Alex the ability to punch freaking cars to death. Get wrecked. There are these houses everywhere that when you enter, you begin a rock, paper, scissors match. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Wait, will I bet my life? Uh, I got one dollar and an AMC Stubbs card. Is, is that good enough? Yeah, no. This is actually like half the game. These houses are everywhere, but they are totally optional. If you do choose to enter them and you win the battle, you are rewarded with an item that you can use in the game. These items are actually pretty helpful, like helicopters, motorcycles, and invincibility. But mostly you can take out all the enemies with his cold hard fists. But every time Alex punches, he's like, what? Did, did anyone see that? Do you see that? We good? This game is pretty easy though. There's almost no... Oh. You can only ever take one hit during the game, making it a lot harder than it should be. When you beat a level, you get to eat this Japanese donut. Uh, oh, uh, Alex, th that's not how you eat those, Alex. A Alex? Ki kid? Al Alex, kid? Ah, look, the first boss. I am the queen of the oasis. You must beat me to pass. Oh, hey, it's a boss fight. This could actually be pretty cool. Oh, it it's just rock, paper, scissors. Of course it is. After playing through nine levels, the game's difficulty goes from zero to a hundred in the last level, which is ridiculously long. The last level is seriously as long as all the other levels in the game combined. Why would you do this? Why not just make 10 more levels if the last level was going to be this long? I could only beat it using the quick save functionality enabled in the Genesis collection. But after an hour, I got to the final boss. And yep, it's just another round of rock, paper, scissors with evil Buddha over here. I'm not supposed to lose. I'm going to win no matter what. Holy crap! Yeah, now this is a battle! I shall slaughter Buddha where he stands, or just make him cry, whichever comes first. Alex then finds his dad, and he's totally okay, and he's actually the king of the entire kingdom, and this guy is his bodyguard? What? Then why was everyone trying to rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock me to death? 
Obviously, he knew who I was. He could have at least stopped Buddha over here from trying to murder me. His only child. Is that abuse? Alex, do you want me to call social services? Blink twice if you're in danger. And that's Alex Kidd, probably the most well-known launch title for the Sega Genesis. Is it good? Would it have made me want to go and purchase a Genesis back in the day? Absolutely not. It's not bad, it works fine, but it's just not very fun. The Genesis Collection allows me to rate every single game from 1 to 5, so I'm gonna go ahead and give Alex Kidd a 1 red block. Yep, that's a rating now. What, you don't think that's a rating? You wanna go? You wanna go? Yeah, let's do this! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw here, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving that bell a ring a ding ding so then you are notified for whenever my new videos come out, which by the way is every Tuesday and Saturday. Also, write down in the comments what your favorite Genesis game is. I would love to hear it. All right, that's it for today, guys. Peace.